Okay, go on. You're not dictating too fast, am I? No, I'm keeping up. It's just it seems like these telexes are so detailed. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you don't just call Dimitri Cassidyne. Oh, because I wanted to go on record with what I'm saying. Would you like, uh, read that last line back to me again, please? Okay. With regards to the stock to be sold, when we go public, the split will amount to... Mm. What's wrong? Well, I think that I've put too many zeros. I mean, are you really that rich? Hmm. Not yet. You're pulling my leg. No, I'm not pulling your leg. In fact, this transaction is just the beginning. Well, could you answer me a question? Sure, go ahead, boy. How did you manage all this? How I pulled this off, Felicia, is one chapter that you will never find in your business textbooks. What about the law books? What I'm doing is not necessarily illegal. So it is legal? Felicia, if every business giant throughout history, American or otherwise, had uh, bothered to ask that question, we'd still be traveling around by stagecoach. Oh, no, not you. You would be one of the men on the horses with a scarf over his mouth, holding up the stagecoach. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> so are you saying that you are crooked, then? No. <laughs> you see, every, every fortune made in this world could be suspect if it was examined too closely, because business is a world where you make up the rules as you go along. Whatever works. That's one way of putting it. You know, I wish that you would inform me on all these inside maneuvers. Well, someday, maybe. Yes, but you were the one that said that you would help me in, in this business by working here. Well, you're learning. Just keep asking questions. <laughs> Bourguignon. It's very what? popular in France. What is it? Besides being very hard to say. Oops. Well, it's 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 like a beef stew with a French accent. Avec le de France. De France. What's that? It's French. Let's call it beef stew. Yeah, I agree. Let's call it beef stew. Did you get in touch with my godfathers? Uh, well, I left a message for Buzz at the hospital. He was busy with a patient. What about Sean and Frisco? Oh, um, well, Frisco's still at the academy, and I was going to call Sean in a little while. First, I've got to get these mushrooms ready. I'll call Sean. Okay, it's uh, in the book D for Donnelly. I'm already looking at the D. All right, it's, it's D-O-N-E-L-Y. Very good. Have you found it? Yes, I found it. Well, tell me the number. 555-3632. Very good. That's it. Call it. Donnelly. Hi. Is this my favorite woman? How did you know it was me? How did you know it was me? I dialed your number. And I'm glad you did. Are you busy tonight? Are you asking me for a date? Yes, yeah, it's for dinner at my house. Well, gee, I don't know. I have to look through my date book here. If you have a date, you can change it. Oh, really? Let's see here. Aha! Uh -huh. You are in luck. I have no other dates. I'll be there. Mommy. Hmm. Sean could be for dinner tonight. Great. Uh, why don't you ask him if Felicia's there, and then you can ask Felicia and Francisco over too. Okay. Is Felicia there? Uh, yes, she is, honey. You want to talk to her? It's Robin. Hello, Robin. Hi. Hi. Can you and um, Frisco come for di dinner tonight? Well, sure. We'd be happy to. I'll tell you what, as soon as Frisco gets home and he changes, we'll be right over, okay? Bye. All right. Get yourself a clean towel here. And you help me with the mushrooms because you've got lots to do. Isn't this going to be fun? I haven't seen Buzz, Sean, and Frisco together in a long time. That's right, you haven't, have you? Isn't this more fun than looking for a murderer? Oh, yeah. Couldn't think of anything more fun than chopping onions. Uh, hello. Hello. Hey, hello. 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 Well, there she hello. is. Come here to your favorite, <clears throat> I mean, one of three godfathers. Oh! <laughs> I love your perfume, uh, Este B. 
beef stew. Hmm? Something like that? Odie beef something. Oh, Odie beef something. You know, it's not bad, Robin, honey. You have two out of your three godfathers here tonight. Yeah, where's Buzz? He was busy at the hospital. He's going to regress it, you know, because my... My birth bag in your eyes, rather like Harry's comet. Might not come this way for another 70 years. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy had to cook dinner tonight because Grandma had a bad cold. Then we are oh. truly honored to be here on such an auspicious occasion, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. It wouldn't have been this morning. Well, what, what happened? Mommy burnt breakfast. Oh. oh. Yeah, um, I think we're telling tales out of school, aren't we? <laughs> I would never say that school. Oh, really? Burn breakfast. May I have a little um, smell of this just to know what I'm getting into here? Yes, perhaps you should. Mmm, the last meal before I depart to the um, <clears throat> great beyond. It sounds like you're facing a death sentence there. No, the great beyond of poor Charles. We start the um, field maneuvers for the academy tomorrow. Oh. That's right. Good luck. Uh, Good luck. Let's hope the temperature doesn't drop below freezing, huh? Eh? Well, you know, it shouldn't be too bad. I. I survived field maneuvers. No thanks to you, Sean. We used to put our WSB trainees through the same torment. Oh. Well, at least Frisco won't be suffering alone. He'll have his partner. Well, um, we work in teams, naturally. You work, eat, and sleep. Uh, Felicia, I think that you and I should set the dining room table, will you? Come on, sir. Yeah. Can I help too, Sean? I insist, sweetheart. Dems and eat. Have to earn it. Come on. I already have. I've been working all afternoon. Oh, your mommy shackles you to the stove every afternoon, is that it? Yeah. Mm. Does she do that every day? Or only when grandma's sick. Does it make no? you mad when people eat your vegetables? No, I don't mind. You go ahead. What else is new? <laughs> oh, not much. Oh, there was a bit of a scare at the brownstone today. What happened? Well, Terry sort of wigged out again, only this time it was about Jennifer. Jennifer? Mm-hmm. I thought she was going to Laurelton. Why don't I fill you in from the top? It was, uh, the other day. Jennifer mm -hmm. wanted to have this party, right, to celebrate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, Felicia, look, jealousy has no place in a policeman's family life because if a cop's wife is miserable about his work, it's going to affect his whole performance. <laughs> well, I don't know how to get over the way I feel. I suppose I could... Pretend like I wasn't jealous of Sam, but I don't know how long I could do that. Well, not very long, I'm sure. Yeah, and Frisco would know I was faking it. Mm-hmm. Besides, it's not your style. Do I have a style? Any style? Well, what's that supposed to be? Who am I? Where am I going in my life? You are going to marry the man of your dreams, aren't you? Yeah, but this is the 80s, and... You know, it's kind of funny. I seem to resent the fact of the modern police academy. Yet I want to be an 80s woman myself. As you well should be. Yeah, Do you think exactly. if I had a solid that's career that's really, uh, that I wouldn't be so sensitive about Samantha? Now you're on the right track, aren't you? Then could you help me? Well, Felicia, your job is secure with me. You have a place with me anytime you want. I know, but I want to go further in my job. I want to learn more. I want to know about those details of the business. Yeah, of course you No, could. this is really serious to me, Sean. Now, you said yourself that on-the-job training is a lot more valuable. I know. I, I, I did say that, didn't I? Then will you be my professor? Mm, yes, yeah, all right. I need some help with the chairs. No, what? Oh, she wants some chairs. I need some help with the chairs. You do? Um, yeah. Uh, can, you, can you help me? Well, of course. Here comes the muscle. Here comes the muscle. I'm after you. Here no. I come. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. So she's waiting, then, for a phone call from Jennifer shortly. Well, she's giving Jennifer time to get herself together. She's going to hug a few classmates and then report in, yeah. How did Kevin and Patrick take this scare? I didn't notice anything unusual in their behavior, but I told you I got in on the, the tail end of things. Yeah, after everything had happened. Right. Hmm. Uh, well, why don't you take the salad in? And I'll, salad. I'll set everything straight here with a bird. Did you make this? Your, with my own fair hand. Oh! And we'll be able to eat in a second. And food, nearly. Here comes the salad that Mummy made. Hi. Mommy, we're ready. Uh oh, I know that look. Oh, sweetheart, I, I was busy thinking about something. Hmm. Yeah. Brownstone murder case again. 